Today, we are creating gorgeous home decor on a budget. These DIYs will really impress, but no one has to know that we made these using Dollar Tree items. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, make sure you are subscribed, and let's go ahead and get on into crafting. So Dollar Tree only puts out these wooden boxes once a year, so grab them whenever you see them. They're kind of like with the gift aisle or like with the Mother's Day gifts, but I grabbed three of the largest ones and I actually took the bottoms out of two of them so that I could stack them up to create this really fun wood planter. So I did go ahead and remove the hardware from the bottom and the top, but it did leave behind some screw holes. So I just flipped those backwards, put them to the back so no one would be able to see them, hot glued these together all I had to do was create a little tag to put in the hardware piece and then I'm going to be adding in some greenery I picked up some greenery from the Dollar Tree and just folded over the stems tuck this down inside and this will be so easy to trade out for each season Okay, so every time I pass up these wreaths, because all I see is like a wreath that is too small for your door, but if you grab four of them, you can actually create this really fun DIY planter. I'm going to be stacking all four of these up, but I knew they would slide around if I did too many at once. So I am taking some of my jute twine, tying two of them together. I do kind of play around with them so they fit. I can get them to fit the best I can. I add in some hot glue. And then after all four of them are put together, I tie all of them with a piece of jute twine, just trying to get as tight of a grip as I can. I knew these would not just hold together with hot glue but there is some gaps in between each of these so I did take some of my nautical rope go ahead and fill that in but I also love the extra texture that it's adding to this project I know where your heart is where you want to be so why do you this creates like a really fun beautiful planter you can put any plant in here that you would like this one came from Target but I really love how it dresses it up Take advantage of the wooden words from Dollar Tree. There's so many things you can do with them. I love placing them on top of these long like MDF signs from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint this one white and then pair it with like a wall decal that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I just feel like it looks so cute. I've made something like this in the past that was just one of my favorite projects. I thought I would kind of make it in more of my style now. So painting the bottom white. And then for the decal, I'm just using this bottom piece. I I love how it's a small thin text it fits perfect in the middle of that sign and then I just go ahead and mod podge that down I glued the hello word to the top so it wasn't going to go anywhere and then just kind of tucked in a couple of pieces of greenery to dress it up but this makes a gorgeous entryway decor piece. A really fun way to hang up any bathrobe or towel in the bathroom or bedroom is to pick up one of these new hooks from the Dollar Tree. I think they have a gorgeous design. I'm not even going to paint them. They come in a ton of different colors, but I did grab a piece of this wood from Dollar Tree that has the scalloped edges. I painted it with my white chalk paint, sanded it down, and then the hook actually comes with its own screws. So this literally cost me like $2.50, and I feel like this is such like a higher end look and a fun way to hang up your bathrobes. I wanted to share another DIY with these wooden boxes because I know everybody is going to be grabbing them since I'm seeing them out at the stores. I took 
three of the smaller ones but you could use any size for this glued these together and then I picked up three of just any Dollar Tree plants they had these really fun ones but you could use any type of greenery that you would want especially since I'm going to be upgrading these a little bit and adding in some little metal planters these come from the Dollar General but you could use any type of pot or planter from Dollar Tree and then once again just adding in any type of greenery that you would like I added some fun tags in the front that just had some numbers on them that I made with some of the rub on transfers but love how this turned out and I feel like it's a perfect DIY for spring and summer You can make over any of Dollar Tree's signs. So like this older Valentine sign that says date night, it just wasn't my style, but I made this over into something that I love and fits perfectly in my type of decor. I traded out the background, I removed the 3D little heart embellishment, and then I glued down a piece of scrapbooking paper. And I love going with like a neutral, I love this little dotted pattern. I pick up my scrapbooking paper from Hobby Lobby. And then using one of these little mirrored houses that I I found at Dollar Tree. I picked out the one with the heart on it, painted it black, and that's going to kind of be the focal point on this sign. I did add in some beads just to really dress it up, and then some rub on transfers to add to the bottom so that it kind of had the little cute words and it just kind of made like filled in the sign. But I think this turned out adorable and one of my favorite DIYs. I felt like the words on this rub-on transfer pack was kind of small so I just pieced a couple of them together and I feel like it really fills in the space. I love these black and white flower market buckets and I feel like it just needed to be hanging and it makes it look so much nicer, especially if you have some that's already sitting out on a table. They can kind of coordinate but be in different areas for different purposes. I just drilled three holes. I just kind of eyeballed it and spaced them out the best I could. And then using some sandpaper and pliers, I tried to smooth down the little edges the best I could so that no one would get cut on it. I did use some of this really fun ribbon to hang this up. So I just hot glued it over and tried to make them super long so that I could tie them at the top and this would make like the perfect hanging planter. I didn't even take the time to add in styrofoam. I just bent over the stems, tucked this down inside, and this DIY literally took like five minutes, but I love it so much. Next up, I grabbed a couple of these wall shelves from the Dollar Tree, and they did come with string, but I wanted to trade that out for some jute twine. So one, because I like the color so much better, but also because I want to make this a double shelf, so I did just pull out a ton of excess string so that I wouldn't run out, and then went ahead and cut a second string the exact same way. With white chalk paint, I didn't worry about it getting perfect. I actually liked that it had a little bit of a distressed look. I let these completely dry, and then I'm going to be adding in my string. Now, one string will go on one side. I know this kind of hangs up really weird, but I'm trying to hang it 
hang it like the original um, shelf hung up so but I also wanted to add in some wooden beads so I go ahead and feed eight beads on there so that I can do four on each side now some people in the in the reviews online of these wooden shelves complained about the holes but I just found if you took any type of even like a paintbrush you could kind of like wiggle out the little splinters that were hanging inside the hole that really wouldn't let you get the string in there but it wasn't a big deal and then they come together at the top in this little metal hoop so this is easier than it looks it's really not a big deal I got both sides of the string in there I did tie knots at the bottom glue them in place but for the second shelf the main priority is just to make sure that it's as straight as possible so it's gonna hang level whenever you hang this up so I just kept measuring it and then tacked it in place with some hot glue I did quickly go ahead and make four tassels that could hang off of the bottom. I feel like that added in a ton of extra detail and then glued them in place so that they wouldn't dangle around but they would like stick out really straight. But I love how this turned out and dressed up with a plant and some lightweight decor. It just looks really high end. Okay, so kind of using the same concept that we did before with a Woodward and one of these MDF signs, but this time I wanted to create like a hook system itself. So once again, just painting this board white, I glued the love on top, added in some hooks, and I think this looks so cute sitting by the door. My girls hang their little coats on it, but it is really useful and something that I feel like looks a lot nicer than just plain hooks. Okay, so I am using these wall shelves again, but you can skip this and just use any type of wood planks that you have or have some wood specifically cut. But this is perfect for spring and summer to bring in tons of florals and makes a gorgeous like dining room centerpiece. So I'm taking two of the wall shelves and gluing them together to make two really long sides. And then I saw all of these drilled out holes that I needed to cover up. So using my popsicle sticks, I go ahead and cut them down. And this is going to give it like that farmhouse like planter look that is just going to look so much nicer than leaving the holes exposed. But for the sides, I needed more of a narrow board so that this wouldn't be really wide. So I cut one of these wall shelves in half by scoring it with my razor blade until it could easily break apart, sanded that down, and then using some scrap wood pieces to hold everything in place. You can see I tried not to overthink the bottom. I knew there was no way I could get it perfect. So I just like tacked in one of those MDF Dollar Tree signs, just something that I could hold the styrofoam in without falling through the bottom. I painted the entire thing white and then I'm going to be adding in some greenery. Now my greenery that I'm using in this came from Walmart just because I feel like they have a leg up. They have a lot nicer quality greenery, um, but you could use Dollar Tree items or Dollar Tree floral if you would like to. But I do feel like now that the Dollar Tree floral picks have come up, that Walmart is a great place to get florals. But this is how it turned out. I feel like it is gorgeous and a perfect way to add in tons of color. I hope you guys enjoyed all of my favorite DIYs from this year. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.